Now we're looking at transmitting an infrared signal. This is a very short Arduino program that controls an LED connected to pin 8. And all it does is turn the LED on and off. So high and low are on and off. And these are the time intervals, so the frequency of switching. Um, this turns out to make an, a, a 38 kilohertz signal. So mathematically this should be 13 microseconds on, 13 microseconds off. We'll make 38 kilohertz. And uh, in practice, 11 microsecond delay because there's some time processing the actual instructions by the Arduino. This LED is the transmitter, the infrared transmitter. This is the infrared receiver or sensor. This wire here carries the output from the Arduino. So this is the signal that is sometimes on high and sometimes off low. This is a ground wire, so the LED is going between this ground and this signal from the Arduino through a 39 ohm resistor. The receiver is hooked up to the oscilloscope over this 1 kilo ohm, 1000 ohm resistor. Here's the signal being received and you can see it goes up and down and up and down. The value here is 37.8 kilohertz, varies a little bit, 30, but it's 38 kilohertz is the frequency of this signal, which is a good sign. That's what I was aiming for. Here's what everything looks like all together. The computer wrote the code, sent, transmitted that code to the Arduino through a USB. And here's the breadboard that has the actual transmitter and receiver. And here's the oscilloscope that monitors the signal that was received. Here's a more interesting signal output uh, from the transmitter. This is a more complicated Arduino code, but it has pulses of varying durations. Here I'm trying to emulate the uh, window shade remote control which has a fairly simple pattern that repeats. You can see it on screen. So the yellow is the 38 kilohertz, that's why it's wiggly. Um, the blue is the receiver's interpretation of that signal, which just gives you high and low. The Arduino code uses a subroutine called pulse, and it uh, delays and then pulses, delays, pulses, delays, pulses, and that's how you get the LED uh, flashing at 38 kilohertz and then not flashing flashing at 38 kilohertz dark flashing at 38 kilohertz dark flashing at 38 kilohertz dark